Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to dual boot Parrot Security OS with Windows 11. In this video, I'll be showing you how to dual boot with the manual partitioning uh, during the installation of the Parrot Security OS. So you should watch the video from beginning to the end to get the proper knowledge about the dual boot of the Parrot Security OS. So Parrot Security OS is a free and open source GNU Linux distribution based on Debian which is designed for the security experts, developers, and privacy aware people. So to dual boot it with the Windows 11, first of all, we need to download the ISO file of the Paris Security OS. So you can go to this link. I'll give this link on the description box. So and just click on download. And down here, you can find a different edition of the Paris Security OS. Well, the first one is Home Edition. Another one is Security Edition. And there is also a version of a Raspberry Pi. So in this video, so in this video, I'm going to install the Home Edition. You can download either a Secret Edition or Home Edition as per your requirement. The installation process is pretty much same. So you can download it from this uh, button, or you can use the torrent link to download the Paris Secret Device. So after downloading the ISO file of the Paris Secret Device, so we need um, a software to make a bootable USB drive. So you need to download the Rufus. So I'll give this link on the description box. So just scroll down a bit and go to the download section and download the Rufus from here. So after downloading the Rufus and the ISO file of the Pirate Secret OS, um, go to that folder and you need to run the Rufus as the administrator. So here we go. Choose your USB drive to make it bootable and after that you need to choose the ISO file. So to select the ISO file, click on this button and again you need to go inside the folder and choose the Paris Security OS ISO file and you can just click on start. So just click on OK. So that's it. So after it is done, uh, you just need to close it. And after that, uh, now let me open the disk management and let me show you the and let me show you the partition where I'm going to install the Paris Security OS. So this is my Windows 11 system with which I'm going to develop with the Paris Security OS. So to open the disk management, let me open the file explorer and let me go inside the this PC and some more option and you need to just click on manage so uh, having a look at the disk management uh, before the dual boot it gives you the clear vision about the partitions so i recommend you uh, to create some unallocated space uh, before going to the installation of the paris security OS. so let me show you the partitions here so these three partitions are of the windows 11 so I'm not going to do anything with this. So I'm not messing around. So this is the unallocated space. So if you don't have the unallocated space, then you can just shrink the volume from these partitions. For me, this is the unallocated space. So I'm going to install my Paris Security OS within this partition. Remember that um, you need to be very careful with these partitions. You should not be messing around with these. So I'm just closing it for now. I'm not going to create any partitions here. I'm just going to uh, create the partition during the installation of the Paris Secret OS, which will make my uh, process of installation a bit easy and clear. So I'm just going to close it for now. You just need to now close the system and open the uh, boot menu to boot the system with the Paris Secret OS. Open the boot menu with the boot setup key and you need to choose your bootable USB drive from the boot menu. So after the choosing um, bootable USB drive from the boot menu, you will see this window here. Um, just click on try and install Paris Security OS. So here we go. This is the interface of the Paris Security OS. And to install the Paris Security OS, first of all, you need to click on the install Parrot. And choose your default language and click on next, choose your location. 
for the time zone and other and you can select your keyboard layout and you can just check your keyboard layout from here so now um, you can see a bunch of options here replace a partition and erase disk manual partitioning so in this video I have already told you I'm going to choose the manual partitioning to create the own partition and I'm going to install that uh, PyroSecure device within that partition. So just choose manual partitioning and click on next. And you can see these are the uh, partition which I have already shown uh, in the disk management. So this is for the Windows recovery environment. Another one is the Windows file system. And this is also a partition of the Windows. So this is the unallocated space. Now I'm going to create a new partition to install the PyroSecure device. So now in this video, I'm not going to create the different partition for swap area, home directory and the root directory. So I'm just going to create the single partition, which will do the work for me. So, and just click on create and you just need to choose the size. So I'm going to choose the old size and choose it primary and you can choose the file system btrfs or you can choose the ext4 so i'm going to choose uh, btrfs it is completely optional to choose uh, among the btrfs and the ext4 and now choose the mount point adds slash choosing the backward slash is for the uh, root partition so in the flags i'm just going to choose the root so everything is going to install within the root partition and and our installation will be done after this so after this there is a time now this is the time to install a bootloader so uh, down here you can find this um, option so there is no need to miss anything here we are going to install a bootloader on the whole hard drive we are not going to choose any partition to install a bootloader so let me remind you this so you can just click on this and you can see this um, system partition which was just created before and this is the this is my whole hard drive so I'm just going to leave it as it is. Um, I'm just going to choose the hard drive, which is given with its name here. So if you choose the partition uh, to install a bootloader, then it will make the problem uh, while removing the dual boot in the future. So make sure that you choose the whole hard drive and just click on next. And now you need to just choose your uh, username and password for your uh, parent system. Click on next again and here we go the things are done then now just click and install now the grip bootloader will be the master bootloader of your um, system so it may take a while uh, to install the parasecret device so you can grab a coffee and wait for 10 to 15 minutes so after the things are done uh, you can see this pop-up screen here now you can just um, click on done now you need to remove your bootable usb drive before restarting restarting your system so just uh, remove your usb drive and you can just click on menu and restart your system so you can see uh, this is a group bootloader and when you choose this first option pirate security os will open and when you choose this last one windows recovery environment on this partition then windows will open so let me first open the windows operating system so here we go this is the windows so there is no need to worry about the any failure of the group load loader so now let me load the parallel OS so let me just restart it So here we go. Let me choose the first option to open the Pirate GNU Linux. So here we go. It is working perfectly fine. There is no reason to worry about this. And let me get inside the file system. So you can see that this is actually the volume where the Windows is installed. And Pirate Security OS is installed on the different volume. So let me show you this here. 
So here we go, you can see here, this is the partition where Pirate Sugar device is installed and these are the other partitions where Windows is installed and the total size of my partition is sorry, the total size of my hard disk is 122 gigs which is divided uh, into further these four partitions so hey guys, thanks for watching I'll make such video if you like, share and subscribe my channel I hope that you guys I hope that you guys find my video informative. See you guys in the next video. Until then, signing out.